What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a crazy day today. By the title of this video, you can see that we are going to be going to Arizona. Whenever I leave out of town, because I've left a few times after owning the stand. By the way, you guys, it's been about through November, December, January. It's almost been three months of me owning the stand. So I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of things now. Um, with being a business owner, but it's still very stressful and especially when I do leave out of town I need to make sure everything's running smoothly all my employees are you know just everything's to a T So all day today I've been running around getting supplies for the stand I do orders and you know just making sure I won't run out of anything We're not gonna be in Arizona long, but I still just want to make sure everything's done. So it's late at night I just got done working out and I am making a mr. Beefy if you guys don't know what a Mr. Beefy is, it's an all meat, high protein, low fat, low carb pizza that I've been making for years. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna finish making my dinner and I will see you guys bright and early. Devin rented a churro car. I'm super excited for this because this thing is badass. What a mobile one. They need to switch to valve. <laughs> I was not gonna fit anything. Can you stuff mine in there too? I have always wanted Devin to get one of these cars. I think an American car on the channel would be amazing and I love the way the new C8s look. And like the fact that it's mid mid engine. I've never actually been in a mid engine car before. Have you? Voila. Thank you, sir. So I've sat in one of these once before. Um, there's a guy, an older man in Spokane who's friends with my grandpa and had to sit in his. So I'm kind of familiar with the way they look on the inside, but that's about it. You don't want a cold start for the boys. What do you think? Let's go for a ripper. I so far love this car. I was just telling Devin that- That's a whole lot of buttons. Yeah, this car is just, I feel like I'm in, I'm confined in my own space over here because look at the way it looks over here. It's like Devin's in his little spaceship. I think a couple things we're gonna do first. And by the way, I'll tell you why we're here in Scottsdale here in a second, but I think we need to get food because I have an a and all morning, it's almost 2 p.m. and I'm getting hangry, you guys. that right but it's a little college town here in Scottsdale or maybe outside of Scottsdale and we're at Mellow Mushroom I got pizza and I also got a truly you know I'm just gonna consider this a little vacation so I'm gonna start drinking a little bit early today and also my dad comes in later tonight which I'm super excited about so we'll probably meet up with them and have another first ski. so we've been ripping the canyons here and we found a little lake by the way, you guys, this car is so much fun. This place is so pretty. I can't wait till I convince Devin to move here. If you'd like, I can give you a history lesson. Sure. Yeah, so this initially started in 1903. <laughs> the United States Reclamation Service. <laughs> We need a warm start for the boys. It does sound good out here. God damn! Holy cow, how do you work this thing? How do you go out of drive? Do you just click that? Pull it up. 
What? What's it gonna say? Is it still lifted in the front? It never was. Oh. Guys, this thing has like an airlift on the front. I feel over bumps. It's kind of weird. We just got to our Airbnb and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. So we're staying in an apartment complex and this is a studio, um, a studio room. So it's super cute. So we walk in and we have the bathroom and then the living room and a bedroom with Devin already trying to take a nap. And then the kitchen and living room. Super cute, but I mainly am excited about this view. I'm all about balconies. And this is downtown Tempe. Super pretty. The next morning. Hi there, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for asking. What can I get started for you? Can I get a medium iced white chocolate Americano with cream? Okay, medium iced white chocolate Americano with cream. What else can I grab you? I'll do a large iced white chocolate Americano, no cream, and can I do an extra shot as well? Yeah, a large iced white chocolate Americano, no cream, with an extra shot. Anything yes. else? Anything else? That should do it. That'll be it. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you out there. That's a zoo, dude. I really messed up. Why? I'm not supposed to be getting sugar. I didn't get sugar free. Good morning, you guys. So we just got some coffee. By the way, this is sugar free. I'm not regular if you guys heard that. But anyways, we just got coffee. We're at a gas station getting water and a protein bar for breakfast. I probably should tell you guys why we're here in Scottsdale. We are here for Barrett Jackson. If you are unfamiliar with Barrett Jackson, probably one of the biggest car auctions in all of the United States is here in Scottsdale every single year. And Devin and I aren't really familiar with Barrett Jackson, but my dad is. And my dad's dad, my grandpa, has a car actually going across the block today at Barrett Jackson. It's a 50, 59? 57. It's a 57 Chevy. And I'm supposed to be riding in the passenger side today across the block. So we are going to go drop off this rental car, the C8, which I'm gonna miss so much because this car has been so much fun. Um, but we only had it for like 24 hours. So we're gonna go drop that off and then Uber to Barrett Jackson. We made it into Barrett Jackson and there's, this tent is so big you guys, there's gonna be so much to see, but right when you walk in, we have these weird looking, uh, what are they, trucks? Freaking nuts, but I'm just gonna walk through, um, show you guys the coolest things that I think are here. But yeah, let's get started. So we walked through some of the vendors and we walked through some of the cars and there's so many cool cars, I can't record all of them. And then I found my dad. Dad, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Got Devin and then we just picked up a beer and we're gonna wait until my grandpa's car goes across the block. 2015 is powered by a 427 cubic inch oh, plus the engine. All right. Grandpa's car goes on, so this is it. And I, I feel like I've seen, I've shown you guys this on the channel before, but it's a '57 Chevy, and he's been trying to sell it um, in our hometown for forever. But I feel like it's so nice; it just needs to be a Bear Jackson. Wow, what engine's that? Huh? And if you guys want to know why I'm into cars so much, this is where it started: my grandpa, and then my dad, and then Devin. So this is. Hi. These people got me into cars, but this is this 57 and we're just waiting for it to go across the block. So this is what it looks like around us. Show us. So this is the lineup and then inside is the building where like the auctions are going on. So yeah, we're just waiting, drinking a couple brews and...
Good morning, you guys. I just have to say one thing. Yesterday at Bear Jackson was so much fun and it was such a huge experience. I think Devin had fun as well. He's out on a run right now or I'd ask him. But my grandpa ended up selling his car in the auction for a lot more than like what we were expecting, which is amazing. It went for 119 and it was so much fun riding in the car and getting that whole experience of being on the Bear Jackson, Barrett Jackson stage. So I'm very grateful for that. I know my grandpa back at home was super grateful. Guys, look at how pretty it's like. It's still pretty cold outside, but it is sunny and I don't want to leave this. And I don't exactly know what we have planned for today, but our flight does take off later this afternoon at like six o'clock. So I think we're going to go pick up another rental car. Devin hasn't told me what it is yet. I need to update you guys on what has happened in the last couple hours. So a couple different things. There was a huge miscommunication with Turo and the car we were supposed to get this morning. So Devin came back to the hotel, or he came back to the Airbnb with no car, and we were both pretty upset about it, so we went to breakfast, got coffee, and just kind of mowed things over, and we both decided that we wanted to book a trip. What? Oh yeah, I, I ended up renting a Tesla for the day, and it literally sucked. So just know we will never get a Tesla ever. Um, so we did all that and I didn't record it because we were both super, super crappy the whole entire day and then we both decided we wanted to book a trip to Las Vegas. We're going to Las Vegas right now, we're in the airport waiting to get on to our flight and I'm really excited because we booked a badass Turo car that I am so excited to show you guys and then we also booked a really, really cool hotel room. So anyways, let's get started with this next trip. 